guys and welcome to our channel and we are here to do um, testing this rhino rocks that I bought from Canadian Tire. Uh, this is a 12,000 capacity uh, ramp. Uh, this means that this can handle a, a car or truck that have 12,000 capacity but each have uh, each has capacity of 3,000 pounds only. What I mean is, this one can handle 3,000 pounds. So, as you can see here, you can see here in the in the note here, or like a warning or something, you can read. It says here, do not exceed uh, rated capacity 3,000 each so each ramp has 3,000 capacity uh, but uh, for the vehicle you can use this for 12,000 pounds gross vehicle weight since you will not actually uh, lift the whole car just the front or rear this can handle the 12,000 pounds and every time you use this you have to use a choke This will be your grip and yeah, made of hard plastic. But if you notice a crack on your on your rhino rams, don't use it. I mean it's very important to be to be safe. I will align first Then one more thing, I will uh, measure the width. It's around nine nine inches for the width. Okay, so this is how I centered the, the wheel first. You can see. Make sure that this is center. Same thing with the other one. Okay. Put it back.
And then I already uh, used my emergency brake. And then always choke the wheel. Okay, see I place a rear wheel choke so that it will not slide down and uh, let's check the measurement of the height so it gave me a 17 inches of clearance on the front where I will access the, the oil, oil drain I already lift it up just to make sure since I have a jack, I mean a axle jack stand, I have to use this. So the clearance that I have is like, as I've said, it's 17 inches. So it's the clearance that I want. This is better way to do a change oil. I used to do it without a ramp. Uh, it's risky because you leave your car and when this ramp got damaged, you have a chance of <laughs> being pressed by, the, by your car. Uh, but since I have this uh, black stand, might as well put it there uh, for your own good actually and then uh, this position makes the, the oil uh, the oil uh, compartment go up or uh, like around maybe uh, 40 degrees something that just to leave it up and uh, the drain plug is at the bottom so this is better for draining the oil I will show you Here, as you can see the position of of the drain of the uh, the oil compartment. This is the drain plug. See, it's like already the position is going down, so it will the oil will drain properly compared to like, just like changing oil flat. Some might remain on the bottom part, especially those dirt. So this is very much better and this is my my oil filter this is how it looks now and the other one How I use the ramp and for safety remember to put the axle jack stand or if you have a spare tire you can put it underneath so you have some space even if it drops you have to just press for your car now I will proceed with my change oil 
for the video of uh, changing the oil of your car, uh, you can see it in my previous vlogs. And thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.